back again? Took your sweet time. You didn't learn anything, did you? Not that it matters. Oran's dead and nothing can change that. What good is that going to do? They won't speak to us. House before family and all that. Believe me, I'm more than familiar with redder and honor. Still, I suppose I know a few ways to get people to talk. More rules. I thought we were beyond those kinds of limitations. Look, I need to figure out who's responsible for Oren's death. House counselors, Redoran soldiers, Ashlanders, whoever it is, they need to pay. Riven was Oren's best friend. Would he really betray my brother? Regardless, I want you to have this. You could have handed me to my father and you didn't. Other than Naryu and Asher, you might be the only friend I have left. So you think my brother's- Riven was Oren- So which soldiers are we talking about? I know most of the people my brother used to work with. Eyewitnesses are better than notes in the house registry. Provided I can actually get them to talk to me. There's no time to waste. That fort's near the cave where I was hiding. Last time I was there, the fort was crawling with cultists. We need to find them before Vatala and his soldiers wind up sacrificed to some Daedric prince. We'll get Vatala and his soldiers killed. I know the process. Turning in a writ can take hours, maybe even an entire day. I'll leave Naryu a note. She can meet us at the fort. I'm going. Either come with me or get out of my way. Let me gather my gear and write a note for Naryu. I'll meet you near the Hlormoran stronghold. The more I think about it, the more convinced I am that we'll learn who's responsible for Oran's death soon. Then blood will flow. As far as I'm concerned, rules got my brother killed. They don't apply to me anymore. Besides, to find the soldiers, we're probably going to have to carve a path through those cultists. The Morag Tang won't care about that. That's what the handbook says. Look, I know what Nari has done for me. To keep me safe, I appreciate that. But this is about what they did to my brother. Nothing else matters. Not Naryu, not you, and certainly not me. No, never. You and Naryu aren't my enemies. I just need to get justice for Ulran. Otherwise his death will be the first of many. We have to be able to resist laws that make no sense or get people hurt, without being afraid of getting exiled. I know Vatala. He's a typical Redoran soldier. Loyal to a fault, always spouting nonsense about house and honor above all. He was devoted to my brother, though. Oran considered him to be one of his best. Oran had a habit of putting the needs of others ahead of his own. He probably told Vatala and his soldiers to remain quiet, decided to take responsibility and save them any heartache. I hope these soldiers remember that when we find them. As far as I'm concerned, rules got my brother killed. They don't...
You're here, I'm here, the damn co- You're here, I'm here, the damn cultists are here. You know who isn't here? Vatala and his squad. They're probably hiding, or dead. They better not be dead. Naryu's probably busy clearing her writ, and we don't have time to wait. This opportunity to learn more about what happened to Oran won't last much longer. We need to find that squad of soldiers. Fine. You wait for Naryu. I'm going to go and find those soldiers. Their orders were to scout the old stronghold. I suggest we search along the outskirts and see if we can pick up their trail. Bedroll, still wrapped and ready to use. Standard issue for a redder and soldier. Redoran officer's sword. No Redoran soldier would leave that behind willingly. Has returned. We need to find those soldiers. I won't let this chance get away from us. He hears voices in his head. Corporal Darvel. But the others, they're civilians. They must have taken Helen's soldiers in the Heal me! Let's find the soldiers and get out of here before these stupid cultists realize what's happening. with a different item.
Ah, another sacrifice for the Prince of Bargains. I'm not sure what you and Vera are doing here, but let us out. Then we can return Vera to her father. Counselor Eris has been terribly worried since she disappeared. This isn't the time or the place to have that discussion. Get the key to this cage and then we can find a private place to talk. One of the cultists carries the key. I don't think he's too far away. We hear him patrolling around every so often. Free us and I'll tell you whatever you want to know. You have my word as a Redoran and as an officer. You find the key. Me and Vatala. We're going to have a little chat while we're waiting. Hey, I'm just trying to protect you. From what? The truth? Oh, please. I want to know who did this to my brother. I've never seen that look on Vea's face before. Get the key and let us out, please. You don't know what those crazed cultists are capable of. of bargains. I knew I shouldn't have told Vea the truth. I just made everything worse. Please let us out of here. We have to stop Vea before she does something she'll regret. I told her what she wanted to hear. I was with Captain Ulran the day everything happened. I was commanded to lure the Ashlanders to town and set up a situation for Ulran to deal with. My orders were to invite the Ashlanders to Balmora to trade, send some local toughs to instigate a commotion, and then get Ulran to investigate. It was just supposed to be a loyalty test. Who expected Ulran to kill his own soldier to save a savage? Captain Brevin, though he was still a lieutenant at the time. As soon as I explained all this to Vea, her face turned dark and she stormed out of here. I think she's going to Balmora to kill him. You need to let me out so I can warn the captain.
Thank you. Now, get to Balmora and stop Vea before she does something she'll regret. Get your ass over here, hero. We've got a situation and it's not good. I leave you and Vea alone for a couple of hours and everything goes to oblivion in an ore cart. Why did Vea leave the safe house? And why is House Redren tearing the city apart to find her? You did what? I suppose you thought that was a good idea. Well, the damage is done. At least tell me you found something to make this debacle a little more palatable. That explains why Vea broke into the kin house. I'm not sure what happened in there, but she certainly stirred up the Redren soldiers. Vea might still be inside, or she might have given them the slip. She could be anywhere by now. If Vea kills Briven without a writ, the Morog Tong and House Redren will both want her head on a silver platter. You check the kin house. I'll grab Asher and see if we can pick up Vea's trail in the streets. Don't let me down, hero. Scour the streets. Search the buildings. <laughs> Vea Raleth does not leave this city. What's the meaning of this? Where are the soldiers? If you're looking for my husband, I'll tell you the same thing that I told that brazen young woman. The council is meeting outside Balmora, and Briven is protecting the councillors. Now, if you don't mind, I've had more than enough excitement for one day. I could barely make sense of the nonsense she was spouting. It was Vea, Councillor Eris's daughter. Everything she said was a ramble. Something about my husband betraying her brother, that my Briven had to suffer just as she was suffering. She had a knife, but no, she didn't harm me. She said her brother wouldn't hurt an innocent, that I wasn't responsible for his death. Do you have any idea what she was talking about? Because I certainly don't. You shouldn't get involved. That young woman will hasten her own death if she thinks she can get past my husband and his soldiers. But if you insist, 
The meeting is taking place at the garrison north of Balmra. Dead soldiers? They were just protecting the Kin House. Oh, I'll go stay with my sister in Vivek. Griffin is the finest soldier I know. He'll set Vea straight. I'm sure of it. Tell me you found Veya. I can already feel the cold steel of the Executioner's Blade on the back of my neck. Is Veya trying to get herself killed? You can't just barge into a Redran garrison and ask the soldiers to stand aside while you murder their captain? We have to get to her before she gets to Briven. She murdered soldiers without a writ. This is a dark path she's decided to follow. And unless we play this just right, it's not going to end well for any of us. Let's find Vea and put a stop to this. We can deal with any consequences after that. That was a brave deed, rescuing Sandraz. Now, for what happens later. 